Hello friends and family from Lakeland, Florida. Today we're taking an awesome trip right behind us to the Lakeland Antique Mall. If you've never been here, it's about 45 minutes to an hour from Walt Disney World just down I-4. They have the most crazy, amazing Disney collectibles and rare vintage items that you're probably ever gonna find. They have like a doll signed by Walt Disney himself, lots of Disney parks, ride vehicles, like you're gonna find everything in here like it's incredible like awards from cast members and also items from Universal Orlando Resort I'm gonna show you guys everything but before we get started if you would subscribe and click the bell notification so you wear future uploads and live streams we would greatly appreciate it Actually, it's a great day to come visit the Lakeland Antique Mall today. They're not even much too busy at all, but on the uh, signage there you have vintage furniture, home decor, and antiques. You would literally never know that they have all this Disney stuff. I can't wait to show you. Okay, so as soon as you come into the Antique Mall, they actually have from Disney's Magic Kingdom a Tomorrowland Star Jet. Check this out. This is sold by Recycling the Magic. They want $35,000, but here's the actual picture of one of the ride vehicles over there by Space Mountain. But get a look at this thing. Like, this is so crazy cool. There's also like a little replica ticket here for Adventureland, Frontierland. That is really neat to see. This is ride vehicle actually number nine, and they do have yet another one over here that I want to show you guys. This is from Buzz Lightyear uh, Space Ranger Spin used in the park. This is like the whole front section of it. The graphic is amazing. That one there is $7,500. And the really fun thing, they actually show you like exactly the ride vehicle itself. This is number XP37. They do have a lot of different bins of different Disney pins and whatnot. This bin here, these are all $8 a piece. Definitely lots of really good offerings. Like I do want to check some of them out. Over here is a really fun one with Ursula on the flag there. It says 1989. There's a couple fun ones over here with Stitch is giving us the old thumbs up. That one is really cool. But again, all of the pins inside of this one are actually $8 a piece. And actually there's a really fun one there with a Goofy from this past Christmas. They do have ones that are a little bit cheaper that kind of drop in price a little bit. This whole section of pins is all 5 to $6. Look at uh, Pinocchio there. That one's actually really cute. I don't think I've ever seen that before. And check out this fun flag one, 2006 Lightning McQueen. That one is really interesting. But they actually all go over here and drop down to, these ones are $10 and up. But these ones are actually 3 to $4 a piece. Over here is a really fun one stormtrooper one and look at this one over here it's like a Disney pride collection one that one's actually really cute it's a uh, Mickey balloon I like that one a lot and check these ones out with the uh, pride flag there with the rhinestones that is really cute but they do actually have underneath like a lot of like rarer pins and whatnot like down here is actually from a cast member it says Dennis that's uh, Mickey Mouse Club. You do get all those pins back there, $178. Then over here's a really fun uh, Disney Park lounge fly bag that I haven't seen before. Like that one is really neat. But look at this over here, Walt Disney World. This is the uh, Millennium Pin Collector book, $28 for that one. And check out these ones, Walt Disney 100th year milestone pin, $12.50. There's also this really fun statue over here with Mickey and Minnie. Look at this. It actually says Mickey's Tree Farm. Mickey's putting his uh, Christmas ornaments on the tree. This is actually only $75. I feel like that is a crazy good deal. Like, I do love that. And they do actually have a lot of, like, rarer pins, actually, like, in these cases. Definitely the good ones are always behind the glass. They have Happy Thanksgiving 2006 with Figment there. Walt Disney World. And over here, you actually have a really fun one wide world of sports there with Goofy 1997 again some of these pins very very old you have a character crest collection one with Minnie Mouse they have a Goofy one which is really cool and also a really fun Mickey one there food and wine festival 2006 of course they don't only have just Disney stuff here you do get a little bit of everything these are all like individual vendors that sell different items I do want to show some of the items in this case because they actually do have that vintage uh, Snow White doll 
Right over here on the leg though, it's actually signed by Walt Disney himself, which is crazy cool, and it does come with certificate of authenticity. That is $12,500 for that, but that is really just an incredible piece. Over here, Snow White Scary Adventure prop, actually, that was used in, uh, look at that there, Apple used in Disneyland, $1,995 for that. And then up here is a really fun vintage Pinocchio, like the old school metal lunchboxes from 1971. That is $79. There's even some statues over here. This one's from the Walt Disney Company. Management meeting 2006 with Tinkerbell. It says that's a rare statue, $299 for that one. And then look at this statue over here with Simba. 25 years of service at Walt Disney World, $397 for that. And they do actually have a, a Tinkerbell one over here, again, for 25 years of service. It says uh, Walt Disney World Company, August 1st, 1988. $349. Over here is actually a really amazing collectible. It's a Disney vintage large Big Al plush with rubber face. Like look at his face there. That is $49.99. That is so cool. One of the country bears. And then up here, look at this. It's Disney Snow White. All seven dwarves there. And you get a Snow White. That one is $22.99. You get all of the pieces there. I feel like that's actually a really good deal. And then they do have a really fun statue here of Minnie Mouse with a pink bow. That one's made out of resin, I believe, $29.99. This is the great thing about coming to the Lakeland Antique Mall though. Again, these are all like little individual vendors that kind of comprise the entire Antique Mall. So you can walk up and down the aisles. You're gonna find some Disney vendors, some just with some vintage antiques. But if you're looking for like the ride vehicles there as soon as you come in, but they have an amazing shop all the way in the back. It's actually called Recycling the Magic and they have lots of items used on Disney property and over in the resorts and items from Universal Studios. But I do wanna kind of make our way to the back and show you guys some boots along the way. This booth over here actually looks very eclectic. Look at this statue of Goofy. Like this thing is absolutely enormous. It says over here Goofy 1932, but this one is actually from 1999. That's $575 for Goofy. They have a statue from the 50th anniversary celebration with both Mickey and Minnie. That one is $249. And a really fun snow globe over here, Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. Let's see here, $137 for that. That is awesome though, like I love that. And they do have a couple really fun uh, cookie jars. This one over here is a vintage Mickey Mouse one. That's $87 and they do have one over here with Thumper, that one's $145. I think the Goofy here though definitely takes the cake. This vendor does have a lot of different vintage Disney snow globes. This one over here is a really fun Bambi one. It's actually a musical one. Those ones are $197. Look at that though, like that is something else. You got Thumper kind of peeking in at the snow globe. Over here is a really fun one with a Simba and Nala, $85 for that. You've even got like a Rafiki, a, a Timon and Pumbaa. That one is really neat. And also check out the one over here from The Little Mermaid. This one is really cool. This one here says Disney Store Little Mermaid Snow Globe Music Box Under the Sea. That one is $99. I like how it's kind of like a snow globe inside of a snow globe. But this one is just something else. It almost looks like a uh, Jim Shore piece almost. Look at that though, Cinderella's Carousel, or Cinderella's Carriage, that is so neat. They even have the coveted Figment Epcot 40 popcorn bucket, $98.99 for that. Definitely one of my uh, favorite popcorn buckets. You have to love, love Figment, that one is just incredible. Definitely really, really cool to see. But I do want to continue on our way here. Like I was saying, you're going to have booths of all sorts of different things. Like over here, there's like an old poster from the doors. Like you never know what you're going to find. All the way even to some uh, Mickey and Minnie art prints over there. So I do like to just kind of traverse my way through these aisles and see what Disney we could find. 
This booth here actually has a lot of really fun Disney statues. Look at this Mickey Mouse one, all dressed up in like red, white, and blue. That one is just awesome. Definitely very cool. Over here is a really fun Tinkerbell one. Look how fancy she looks right there. That is really neat. And also check out this Mickey, all dressed up as Santa Claus, $395. But like the sheer size of that is just absolutely enormous. You even have a fun one over there with the Lumiere. Look how happy he looks though. <laughs> I love that. That is really neat. Let's continue on our way here to the Recycling the Magic section and show you guys all of the awesome props that they have. Over here is a lot of really fun stuff from Universal Orlando Resort. Look at this. They have some chairs that were actually used in the Monsters Cafe. $75 a piece. And again, it shows you the, the uh, chairs there, the Monsters Cafe. They do actually have a couple different styles of those. Like, they are really neat. And also, they have Elliot's Gold fish the et room look at that from the summer tribute store so this was actually used in the uh, tribute store there 299 dollars for that one and they do have some original signage here look at this this is incredible this is a prop sign used from halloween horror nights two thousand five hundred dollars like that is just something else to be able to see also a big Halloween Horror Night prop sign from HHN uh, &H with the director. That is $2,500. Some signage for HHN 30, Never Go Alone. That is incredible to see actually. Like this is amazing, $595 for that one. But this is literally just littered with all Universal Orlando Resort items. Let's see what they have over here. This looks like a, uh, look at that, Miss Dumpty. <laughs> so these were actually used at the Williams of Hollywood prop shop. But these are originally HHN props. This one is $950. Looks like a vintage arcade machine. And then look at this one. This one is a Scoopin' Sam. Another prop here used for HHN. That one is $950 as well, but I like the graphics on these. Like, they are actually really neat. And over here is a bunch of really fun merchandise that I wanna show you. Let's see, we have Penn and Teller's Haunted House. Actually, a Penn and Teller's Haunted House prop welcome sign. That is amazing, actually. But look at everything. It takes a while to actually kind of dig in here and check everything out. They do have some signage from HHN right over here. Again, this actually has Jack. I'm back. And it shows you exactly where it was used. That one's $355. But there are some amazing props in here, all used from HHN. Even a Haunted Mansion sign way back there. Like, how crazy cool are these? Over here from the Shrek 4D ride, they even have the prop mirror that was used on the ride. Look at this. There's the old Shrek 4D entrance, and there's where the mirror would be. That is $3,500. Look at the sheer size of this thing and the attention to detail. Like, that is amazing to see. But it looks like they also have just a lot of the uh, Shrek 4D items. Yet another one over here that was used on the ride. This is the Iron Maiden cage used in the dungeon part of the ride. But actually look inside of here, like all the uh, spikes and whatnot. That is something else. Really, really cool to see. And look at all of this. This is where the uh, three pigs were actually in each of these, the animatronics. Of course, they do also have a lot of Disney-related items. This lamp here was actually used in Disney's Polynesian Resort, the tiki uh, floor lamps. These are very, very fancy and ornate with a lot of carvings in there. And they do actually have a really big base on the bottom. Those are $279. Some really fun signage from Disney's Haunted Mansion. It says Haunted Mansion to the left. You have Graveyard to the right. And of course, beware of Hitchhiking Ghost. This one is actually really neat. I'm not sure I've ever seen that before. And they do have some really fun uh, prints over here of artwork from the Haunted Mansion. This is like on the exact ride, actually, over in the Magic Kingdom. But you have the bust. And look at that. You have a ghost popping out of a uh, little gravestone, which is really neat. These are $75 a piece. They do have some chairs here that were actually used in Disney's Grand Floridian. These were used at Victoria and Albert's, the really fancy restaurant at the Grand. They are very nice though. Like it looks like the cushion is actually like brand new on these. Definitely very retro too, like a barn type theming. Those are $29 a piece. They have two of those. And this chair over here is also from the uh, Grand Floridian. They are $109 a piece with a really nice uh, blue padded cushion. I do want to show on the back, you actually have a uh, kind of hidden embroidered in there if you can see it right over here definitely very very cool to see 
they have yet another chair over here. These are from the uh, Grand Floridian Suites. It says $149.99. But look at the size of this armchair. Like this thing is enormous. Definitely very heavy too. Like a very, very heavy, sturdy piece of furniture. They even have some very fancy Minnie Mouse lamps. It says right here, these are actually used from Disney's Boardwalk. So they are $299 a piece. Looks like they actually have two of those at the moment. Two different types of lampshades. Like they are really cool. And I do want to point out over here some other lamps that they have. This one is from the uh, Polynesian Resort, which is really cool with all the tiki carvings. $250 for that one. Definitely a little cheaper option over here. They have one actually used from Disney's Grand Floridian used in the suites definitely a really nice just like your basic lamp but over here is like your on and off switch and they do have some pillows from Saratoga Springs with the horses those are $35 a piece I like the Grand Floridian lamp though I do want to head back here and uh, see what's going on there's a lot of stuff over here from Disney's Contemporary Resort lots of different vases like the tall ones back here are $25.99 a piece and they do have this like larger size that's much wider for $25.99 even a, a really nice prop light here for the end tables from the uh, Contemporary Resort $39.99 I actually bought one of these not too long ago over here some really nice Merry Christmas Mickey Mouse banners. These are $49.99 a piece. You got a bunch of Christmas ornaments. Mickey there wearing a little fuzzy Santa hat. Like they are really neat. But I do want to point out a lot of the different artwork and mirrors in this section. A lot of these again used in Disney property and in the resorts. This one over here is a framed uh, Jiminy Cricket, actually, which is really awesome. Looks like he's drawn. Look at this, though. It says Pinocchio 1940. That's $195. Then they have a really fun one over here, actually used on Disney Cruise Line. You got Mickey right there. This is from the Disney Magic. That is a really cool artwork. $195. Even some really fun artwork here from Disney's Art of Animation Resort. Definitely really cool. This was actually used in the Lion King suites. This one is $195. But again, it shows you exactly where it was used. This would have been over by the dining room table. Like that is very incredible to see. And a really nice mirror here with the light sconces on either side. This one is used in uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom Resort. Basically taken right off the wall. And now you can own it and put it in your house. $500. $195. There's also even some really enormous framed artwork here and these were used in Disney's Polynesian Resort. $329 a piece. The fun thing about these, there's actually hidden Mickeys inside. Like over here she's drawing like a little hidden Mickey in the sand. Definitely really cool to actually come over here and spot out the hidden Mickeys. There's another one over here in the water which is really neat but they do actually have a couple different offerings of these framed artworks. Inside of this really large like Disney ships bed look at the framed artwork they actually have right over here with uh, Captain Jack Sparrow Let's see where this was used actually from Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. This one is all framed up $359 for that definitely a really amazing art print and I do want to check over here and see what's going on. These are from Disney's uh, Boardwalk Inn and Resort. So the chair right here, definitely a very fancy wooden chair, $165. Then you can even get the matching desk that would have came with it. They are $165 a piece. This chair is like so heavy though. Yet another really cool item. These were used in Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. These are prop barrel nightstands used in the pirate themed rooms. $149.99 for those. You can see where they would be like sandwiched by the beds. They do have the cables here for the USB and your normal plugs. But look at that inside. Isn't that crazy cool to find something like this? This is why I love the Lakeland Antique Mall. It's just amazing. But they have so many offerings. Wouldn't literally just kind of hidden throughout here. They have some phones right over here that were used in Disney's All-Star Resort, which is really cool. And then over here, yet another one way over there that was used in Wilderness Lodge. 
you can even actually purchase the entire setup here from Disney's Boardwalk Resort. Like they have both chairs and the little table that would go in between them. What you get again, you get the whole set right here. The chairs are $89.99 a piece. You can purchase the table for $69.99. Definitely a really nice set. But they have uh, Disney Christmas ornaments literally from all different resorts like Coronado Springs, Winter's Summerland Miniature Golf, Disney's Grand Floridian, Art of Animation, like the list goes on and on, even all the way to Disney Cruise Line. But I do want to check out some of the framed artwork over here. Look at this one over here with Goofy. It has Goofy's facsimile signature. It says All Star Surf. These are incredible. $49.99 only for these. These were used in Disney's All Star. They have one over here with a Donald Duck playing baseball, which is really neat. Again, it shows you the exact picture where it was used in the room. That is crazy cool. I do want to check out some more of the framed artworks over here. These are from Disney's Saratoga Springs. $40 for that actually, this entire enormous piece. That is an amazingly crazy good deal. They have yet another one over here from Saratoga Springs, which is really neat. But check this one. This one is something else actually. If you look closely, it says the villas at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. That is crazy cool. Like These look like stamps actually. This entire thing framed up is only $95. I love this. Let's continue on our way here though to the next section and see what we can find. But there are some vintage uh, plushies up there of uh, Mickey Mouse. They have Minnie Mouse over there kind of hanging out. But look at this sign with uh, Universal Orlando, Shrek and Fiona. It says uh, cast member exclusive, that's $195. I always like to check out the old school like plushies and whatnot that they have here because these items are literally just so old. Like look at the uh, look at the age on those. We have a 1930s grumpy dwarf, $145 for that. That is really amazing. Like his beard is actually so old like it's falling off. Over here is a 1930s Mickey Mouse plush in overalls. Look at his face though. Like look how uh, plushies have come over the years. That one's $325. They have a small one over here with Bashful. They have uh, Snow White kind of hanging out in the back there. But look at over here at Donald Duck. Isn't that amazing? I can't quite see the year. It says perhaps vintage 1920s Donald Duck. Behind these lockers are a lot of amazing Disney awards. Like this one here is 35 years for a cast member. It actually has Pinocchio, $696. Yet another one over here for uh, 20 magical years with Simba. That one is $395. But they do have an amazing one over here actually with like Cinderella Castle. That one's only for 15 years of service, but that's $195. Like that is amazing. And check out this uh, snowflake over here from Disney's Animal Kingdom. 2012 Christmas Parade, a snowflake wheel cover it was actually used like on the vehicles. That's $95. Even a crazy cool little uh, jack-in-the-box popping out us from Disney's Animal Kingdom Jingle Jungle Parade Prop. Look at that though, you actually get the whole box and the uh, jack-in-the-box is popping out. You'll also find some really vintage items like this old school little kids table. This is like an old folding table where the uh, legs kind of pop out. That is $225. But look at the old school graphics there with like Mickey. Then over here you have Donald and Daisy. Even Pluto over there. Like that is just awesome. And also a sign here from Disney's Grand Floridian. It said vintage sign $895. It says pardon the inconvenience. This area is under construction thank you <laughs> that is really neat and Walt Disney World fairy flag from the 1980s $995 that is something else though like you could see how vintage that is and that's all embroidered on there that is really cool and a 2000 Epcot sign that is really neat though $595 there's also even a bunch of mirrors here that were used at Disney's All-Star Resort. These are $45. They're absolutely enormous. They even have the original light bulb still kind of screwed in there. Like I said though, very tall mirrors. $45 only. That is a crazy good deal. And check out this big Mickey flag. It was used in Disney World Train Station. $995 for that one. That is awesome. <laughs> you even got a Donald Duck up here. Looks like he's uh, commanding a plane, which is really neat. And a bunch of really old school, like, vintage lamps. Look at this one over here with Mickey Mouse. 
Look how old that is. Like, I don't even know when that's from. $245 for that one. They have an old school Snow White one. And look at the lampshades themselves. Like, you can definitely, like, tell their age. Like, these are just so vintage. And then up here is a dopey nightlight from 1938. How old that is. That is so neat. $695. Yeah, all of this Snow White stuff is just something else. This little box over here has a lot of uh, curtains that were actually used in Disney's Grand Floridian. You can purchase a curtain panel for $20. I actually remember these though when, when I worked at the Grand Floridian. It's kind of crazy you can actually purchase the, the Grand Floridian curtains. Those are $20 a piece. And then back here, this must have been used for like an orchestra or something. You can actually see like Cinderella Castle was like spray painted. This is a Disneyland music stand, $195 for that. But they do have like curtains and all sorts of amazing things from all different Disney resorts. Let's head back to the back section. Look at this enormous banner from the Disneyland Hotel. You can see the castle, the monorail, Mickey Mouse up there. The thing is enormous. It's got to be a good, probably 18 feet wide. They do have some large plushies of different dwarves back here, but there is a lot going on. I want to dive right in and show you guys some of the stuff. Over here is a chair that was used in the uh, Grand Floridian. This again would have been in one of the suites. That is $235 for that. But look at this. It's a Dalmatian stained glass. Oh, that's cool. That is really neat. And they do have some really fun coins here. This is a Walt Disney World cast coin where you get the coin. This is all framed up. It says happiest place on earth. That is only $25. Definitely a really nice take home. Also, check out these really old costumes that they have. This first one is actually from Disneyland. It says Retirement Club. That is awesome. This black jacket over there is actually embroidered. It says the Magic Kingdom. Like, that is really something else. Like, these are so old. And be able to check out the princess dress up there. Like, that is just something else. And they do have a really fun sign that I want to show you right underneath. This is the 20th anniversary uh, Animal Kingdom prop. Uh, pride of... Uh, Luckow, <laughs> $295. That's something else though. Like That is cool. That is really neat. I actually had to do a double take with this section. They have Hollywood Studios Jedi Training Trials of the Temple Children's Robes. These are $30 a piece, but they actually have both colors of the robes. And these are actually what they look like on the mannequins. That's something else though. Like these are so soft. This is like a piece of a Hollywood Studios and like Star Wars history for only $30 a piece. Let's see what we can find over here in this back cabinet section. It looks like we have some more uh, Seven Dwarves, actually. They're $245 a piece. Definitely really neat. Of course, my favorite of the uh, Dwarves has to be the uh, Dopey one. But they have Grumpy right next door. Like, they are really neat. But also, look down here. We have a 1991 to 92 little figurine set there of uh, seven of the... Uh, Pinocchio characters, $225. They are so tiny though, but they are in like perfect condition. I do want to check out some of the uh, helmets here and look at this one. Honorary Imagineer. That helmet is something else. $595 for that. That is incredible though. Again, just Disney history, really. And then over here is a fun one. Diamond Celebration since 1955 for Disneyland. That is $345. It's a, a Disneyland construction hat. That one is really cool. And they do have some here from Buena Vista Construction Company with Mickey Mouse. It says 1970 Walt Disney Productions. Those are $395. Look at this one even from Disneyland. Yet another construction hat with the cast there even has the original sticker that somebody put on there it says 98 to 2001 this one over here is an Imagineer helmet it actually says the person's name on it has Rick this little booth has some really fun framed artwork this is actually from Epcot from 2000 celebration that one's really neat $59.95 from that one and they do have some really fun framed artwork here from Star Wars movie prints that one's $29.95 they have Empire Strikes Back Revenge of the Jedi definitely lots of really fun offerings actually this is like a Walt Disney World Florida print for $19.95 they even have like a really fun Mickey statue it almost looks like the old school ones where Mickey would have the telephone let's see here this is a, a Disney Mickey backpack statue just as we thought $24.95 
Even a really fun uh, item over here from Disney's Epcot over at the Germany Pavilion. Look at this hat. Like, this is very fancy. It has, like, the little suspender buckles there. It's a, a Germany Pavilion uh, pretzel hat. $29.95, but I have never seen this before. There's even a ginormous Sorcerer Mickey that was actually used in a Disney store. It says, that is $15,000. So expensive, but it's actually just amazing to be able to come here and document and see such an amazing piece of history. That there is incredible. And I think there's like an old school Splash Mountain kids shirt up here that I want to show you guys. Look at that. That is so cool. $45 for that. Look at that though. That is really, really neat. I had such a great time checking out all of the Disney and Universal Studios items. Again, a lot of these items are used in the park, whether at Universal, Disney Resorts, Disney Parks. It's even crazy you can purchase like cast member awards. They have just something for everybody, whether you liked collecting Disney pins, vintage Disney items. They even have Disney ride vehicles that you can purchase and take home. But I really love that Sorcerer Mickey. That statue is probably probably four or five feet tall. I could just imagine how crazy cool it would be to take that Sorcerer Mickey home and like put it next to your TV. Like that is something else. If you'd like to further support the channel, please consider checking out our Patreon page. I'll let a link to that in the description box of this video. But if you like today's video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, make today awesome.